Hey guys, so I'm here at Chanel Harrods ready to wear and as you can see, I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for these pieces. This is 24p in the jacket. This just arrived yesterday in my size and the skirt. So let me try them on. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cara and I'm from London. So I hope you're keeping well. I'm taking you on a little stroll with me. I'm basically walking from South Kent Station towards Knightsbridge because my essay from Chanel has contacted me to say one of my wish list items from 24p. Yes that long, it's been about six weeks now, or maybe seven weeks, is here, finally, from Paris. So I'm on my way to Harrods. We're just having a really lovely walk down Walton Street. It's so beautiful here, honestly. And it stopped raining, which is great. It's not so windy anymore. So we've got about a 10 minute walk. So come with me, and we're gonna go and try on those pieces. There's a couple, and we will see if they fit. So I hope you're keeping well. Let's go shopping. I thought I would show you this, guys. I'm in Chanel Walton Street. This is all about the classic flap in a metal design with a chain belt. I said in my previous vlogs, chain belts are very much in trend. The only thing is, this is just for fun. I'm so not looking at this to buy, but it's so cute with jeans. This is actually over 7,000 pounds. Oh my gosh. I thought I would try on a couple of classic belts. This is their classic quilted style with the 19 buckle. What do we think? Hi guys, so we're almost at Harrods. And what I would say is, if you don't know the back streets of London, then have a look at Beauchamp Place and Walton Street because it will connect you to the other Chanel boutique which is in Walton Street, a more quiet boutique with different assortment and it's worth having a look, we've just gone in there and I've already seen those pieces anyway but now we're here and if I just pan across they've still got the Prada Cafe here which will be closing soon anyway it's been open for a year now but come with us let's go inside oh it's a bit windy what do we think of this i mean it's not my cup of tea but do you know what if fendi can do it with the baguette sequin why not this leather jacket i absolutely love although not to buy i love the workmanship on this with the suede and the leather hey guys so i'm here at chanel harrods ready to wear and as you can see I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for these pieces. This is 24p in the jacket. This just arrived yesterday in my size and the skirt. So let me try them on and I'm only going to show you if they look nice. <sighs> right guys, this is the 24p denim jacket. Absolutely in love with this. And this is a size 42. So I'm just posing to show you. I've tucked my long line shirt in and I've buttoned this up. So for me, being quite busty, this is perfect size for me. I'm usually a size 42 anyway in Chanel jackets, but what I would say, I'm because I'm quite short, my arms are always quite short for their jackets. So I'm going to get the tailor in in a moment to measure them to shorten the sleeves. But what do we think? Look at the buttons though. Oh, so beautiful. And the beauty of this jacket, not only is it denim, which I love, but the hardware is silver. I mean, have a look in detail here. So beautiful. But can we just appreciate the piece de resistance are the pockets. My goodness. I mean, you're not, you're not going to put your coins in here, are you? This is just 
for a feature we will be wearing a crossbody when when we're going out aren't we for spring and yes as you can probably see i've worn my denim 24p earrings as well so i'm now going to try on the skirt but this is 3750 but you know we only need one denim jacket from chanel don't we or do we guys this is the denim mini skirt from obviously the same collection 24p it's in a size 42 i think yes and it's 2000 pounds if i show you the button it's all matchy matchy love the fact that they coordinate and also what i love about the jacket and the skirt together is the pockets are relatively aligned so you can wear them together as a style this shape is a blues on so it's very girly as well as being quite edgy what do we think guys obviously the price is quite expensive i have to say but i probably get a lot more wear out of the jacket than the skirt however the skirt is quite cute i think it's quite a decent length what do we think that I just tried on in Chanel Walton Street but they didn't have my size. Right guys quick outfit of the day before I leave ready to wear and I'm going back up to shoes. I've got the beautiful classic camel belted coat from And Other Stories. Absolutely love this. If you want to know more about my coats then I will do a separate vlog but this is so so timeless. This is the I think this was the 23A Chanel scarf with the matching beanie you can see my vlog in my channel this is the beautiful dark beige this was 22b classic flap so beautiful and my jeans are the wide leg cropped jeans from zara and my boots are the tan ankle boots that i bought from bista village ralph lauren and i'm wearing chanel shades and the shirt is a crisp white shirt oversized from zara a couple of years ago maybe three years ago so yes, let's go upstairs to shoes. Hey guys, so I didn't bother to film anything in the Chanel footwear department because I've only been here last week and pretty much you've seen everything from me already. So we're just actually on the sixth floor. Now, if you don't know about the sixth floor, just behind me here, this is a floor just for perfumery and it's really lovely. They have certain brands on the corridor here. So we're just going to go and have a little look at one of the brands. Come with me. On this floor, it's all about the exclusive scents and usually the private scents. So towards the end of the boutique, you've got Chanel, which is all of the private scents, the exclusives. There's Dior. But yes, it's a really lovely experience up here. So if you aren't familiar with these, there's Roger Dove, absolutely gorgeous brand. If you aren't familiar with these brands and you do love your perfumes, make some time to come up here, book an appointment with a couple of these brands, sit down and have a good old sniff and spray. And let the scents and the aromas take you into a new dimension, I would say. Sounds cliche, but it totally worked for me. That's how I know about Le Lyon and a lot of the Chanel Privé scents. Here we are with them. Speak of the devil. So I've just sprayed my whole scarf and coat with my favourite scent from Chanel Le Exclusive Perfumes, which is Le Lyon or Lion, and it's absolutely gorgeous. If you haven't already smelt that one, I would really recommend you to. And I've just got a tester of Boy Oh, so so nice I mean it's really nice just to walk past the department and have a little tester and spray you know as you would normally do with perfumes but upstairs it's a whole lovely experience on the sixth floor you can only access that side of the building from the Basel Street escalator so you can't get the lifts up there that's why not many people know about that department but if you do like perfumes I really recommend it it's beautiful right guys 
guys, that's it. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you're new here, then like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and follow me on our fashion fix together as we do go on them quite often, don't we? I hope you've enjoyed today's content and let me know what you thought of the denim pieces. Oh my goodness. I mean, they, to me, they are expensive. Yes, they are more expensive than the Dior ones I tried on in my previous vlog. But I think if you are a denim fan and a Chanel fan and you do like the design of the new season pieces, then to me, I think they could be warranted as standing the test of time for the price. You can bring your cost per wear down year after year. Let me know if you agree or not. Anyway, I will catch you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye. Thank you.